This is Mojo, a.k.a. Black Magic. I need to know, first of all, yeah. where Mojo and Black Magic come from. Well, Mojo is like it's like my names, like Mark. And then I like mixed up with my father's name just because uh, I felt like I needed I needed I needed something inspiring in it. Mm-hmm. So I wanted it to be a bit personal. Mm-hmm. So Mark is my real name and then Ogola is my father's name. Then Jordan is my name. And then Ogutu is his last name. So Mojo. Oh, everything oh. just came up so yeah, perfectly. Up, yes. up, it's like, up. you know, when I try and think of like words or maybe someone's like, okay, come up with a with a word for your new show. I'm like, yeah. TW? <laughs> Tracy? Yeah. Tracy? How yeah. about just Tracy? <laughs> right? You know, it's just like, okay, where'd you get the mojo? <laughs> However, um, thank you so much for coming in studio. Mm. And I can see you have dreads. <laughs> yeah. Why the dreads? Well, dreads, well, um, it's just because uh, I, I also work as a, as a nurse in Sweden. So, mm. yeah. So, hey, Tracy, though, you said, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nurse? I'm not feeling too so, much. Nurse? <laughs> night nurse <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but then I got a song by night nurse as well so <laughs> anyways but yo um yeah so I wanted something like you know to just stand out you know when I go outside I just don't look like a doctor all the time so the dreads just kind of you know you know and uh, in Mombasa a lot of people just have dreads so I grew up looking up just at people having dreads around me and I felt like you know this is kind of something that mm-hmm. I should have an image that can remind me of exactly where I come from right. so I don't forget that Mm-hmm. So, yo, at least at, when I walk in the street, I can get this positive and negative look at people. And it charges me up and reminds me who I am. Yeah. So, dreads are pretty much of just... And, you know, still on dreads, mm-hmm. um, Babs and I, who I have just learned is called Christian. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> um, so, he, we were talking about stereotypes, um, common stereotypes of people who have dreads. Mm-hmm. So, which one is the weirdest one that you've heard? Well, uh, I don't know. I, I think I think I've probably get in trouble if I say this. No, it's okay. No, just go, go ahead. ahead. Just go oh, ahead. I mean, the most stereotype was just, you know, lesbian dreadlock. You know, I mean, just <laughs> people, the most stereotype ever I've ever come across. And you, yeah, it's just a weird <laughs> thing. I mean, what? I mean, yeah, I mean, I chicks, they'd be like, I can see, be like, I know yo, what you, you look mean. so good. Yeah, I you know look what so you're good, saying. girl. I mean, like come on. Like, Wiz type of I mean, thing. I mean, she'd be like, no, I'm straight. I mean, I'm I thought pothead. Because I was assuming you'd say you're a pothead or... Now it's all over. It's all over. It's all over. The Trace. usual stereotype. Well, yeah, oh well, yeah. my I have God. I've been trying to go out no. and see a lot of like, African oh. girls out here with nice dress. Wow. Okay. Like, this is, there's I another stereotype that, that I want to like, ask you about that oh, has to do with dreadlocks wow. as well. Is it true that white women yeah. love black men with dreadlocks? That I don't know, but I think, yeah. Because Cause every time I'm cause, in coast cause, and I'm walking on the beach, yeah. I'm just like, I know that's a different type of love, but I'm just like, you always see white women mm. with black men with dreadlocks. I'm th- like, what I is think, it? I think it just kind of surprises just the them, one. honestly. Yeah. It's, just, it's just something interesting about, about Africans because, like, you know, we, we're not really like, uh, I, I'll be honest with you, like, you look around, like, a lot of black men don't want to have hair around them. They, pref- they prefer having shorter hair. Mm-hmm. So when you, when you have no long hair, you kind of stand. Stand out. You become a bit interesting, you know. You you're kind of, you know, you're a bit weird, and people, you know, women are into weird stuff. Now, you know? seeing as we're talking about women, I need to know. Oh my God, what is happening? We're going to talk about music, Jesus. Okay, seeing as we're on this topic, anyway, of women, are you single? Hey, though he's drunk, that was a. He's just like <laughs> night nurse. Oh, night let's, nurse. Let's delay. Let's delay yep, the answering yep, of this yep, question. Yeah, you I'm are single. single. Yeah, so now you are single. You are yeah, night yeah. nurse. You live in Joe, Sweden. If you no. are looking for uh, Joe, wait. Have you had Joe? Ati, are you serious, Joe? Do you want to hook up with our dreaded lesbian? <laughs> Look, I am trying. I am trying to help a guy out. We are literally like the mobile Tinder. Look, so we have a night nurse who makes great music. Is single. Lives in Sweden. If you want to move abroad, and of course, is now running. <laughs> v- so, yo, that. Wow. Visa, man. Throw that in there. <laughs> you have to help a girl out. And of course, I need to know about Black Magic well, records. Yeah, yeah. Now, what does Black Magic mean? Because you spell it B L K M G K and Black Magic records. What's that about? It's just the way it is, like the way it sounds too. Black Magic, as in like the black is pretty much represents uh, like the hardship, the the hard work that people don't see every day. Mm-hmm. You know, you meet people outside, like uh, especially just 
um, the people that I inspire that come up to me and tell me like, you know, Black Magic, you know, you should be out there representing us. Like, you know, you came from the coast or something. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I meet I meet these black kids in, in Sweden or whatever kind of place I am in Europe. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, you know, you produce or something. You should do something about this, you know, take it to the next level mm -hmm. and representing us there. So I feel like the Black Magic is for those unheard voices mm -hmm. okay. so that's that's the black is you know black is just always misunderstood okay and then the magic is the magic side of that unwanted or always you know just put aside kind of thing and always when at the end of the day those are geniuses you know the, yeah. the people that you put at the bench all the time so i feel like black I'm, magic records will be just bring I'm, out people i'm out so there. happy you've explained I'm just that yeah Michael, because Michael, juju no yeah because <laughs> um, that's, that's exactly Michael, what i was going to say because i'm sure we had a bunch of listeners who were thinking that black magic yeah. records is a powerhouse yeah. for chawi <laughs> now they know it's <laughs> not <laughs> well, and you have dreads hey. as in you're just you were just not helping no. we're trying to explain this but thank you so much for getting that okay. through and i want to know what are your handles on twitter facebook and instagram so people can reach you maybe they can find how they can collab with you well, as you're back Valerian, when you, you want to tell him? That is my section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. His Twitter and Instagram handles are at Mojo Black Magic. As one word, as pronounced. Mojo Black Magic. And the Black Magic is spelled as B-L-K-M-G-K. No, no. Yeah. Uh, for the handles, mm -hmm. just normal spelling. Black, okay. Black, Black Magic. Oh, wow, okay. Spelling. But for his email account, if you'd like to book him, talk to him, you know, get some advice from him, anything. Mm -hmm. B L K M G K O three O three at okay. gmail dot com. We'll post that on our own social media. Don't forget that's hashtag Agent H984. Hits not homework. And you can always find out what we're talking about behind the scenes on the Capital FM Kenya page. That's also on YouTube. Capital FM Kenya. By the way, and I want to know what advice would you give someone entering the entertainment and music industry? Just don't give up. And uh it's hard. It's meant to be hard, man. If it's easy, man, everybody would be. It doing don't make it. sense. It huh? doesn't make sense, and um, I don't think I don't think you need a lot of help from people. Mm -hmm. Just yes. understand that. Like the more help you get, the harder it becomes to to create yourself. Create yourself. It's about just building yourself. It's all about lessons. You're gonna you're gonna get hard. You're gonna get really squeezed in. All I can tell you is focus focus on the reason why you're doing it, mm -hmm. and. Uh, at least find someone who understands your sound and what you're trying to put out there, and that's it. And to producers, if you're a producer, man, like give artists a chance, man, and at least you know change. It's, you're not always right. Sometimes the artist is right, mm -hmm. you know. So that's all, man. Find chemistry.